can't believe that the second I sat down here. That is so now. Yes, here we go. Here we have a bean cowry. Yeah. I've been teaching. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is a fantastic day down under. We still have some huge giant swell behind us. Let's see what shells rolled in. And, uh, get straight into it and see what we can find. Buddy, it is day four of trying to film this YouTube video. Uh, we have another giant pile of micro shells here today. That pile looks really decent. Already pulled up a really nice sort of faded stilitta. It's got some nice patterns though. Pretty sweet. So we're gonna take a look through these piles. I wanna start down here, see what we can find. Pretty exciting. Got some people down there. Annoying. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this winter. Whoa, 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 look! Look at that grape! What? And look at here! A wentil! No joke, I just arrived here, guys. That is so cool! Wow! It's just a bubble in it. Yep, cool, that is empty. That's freaking cool. Look at that one though, that grape. And a Humphreys. An old Humphreys. And this grape here. Look at that, please focus. It's so tiny. to focus, check it out. That is so nice. So we got a Wentel Trap, Grape Cowry, uh, Stolita, and a Humphreys Cowry. That's freaking cool, whoa. Can't believe that, the second I sat down here. That is so nice. Look at that. Grape. I haven't found a grape in a long time. Nice color. It's awesome. Really nice uh, lentil trap. We got a bean here. That's freaking cool, you guys. Finally got a donkey in another one of these piles here. Check it out. It's been quite a while since I found one. That's awesome. Phew. Got some more coral down there, but look at this. There is just so much DNA coral in these piles. I've already got three other pieces here. It's pretty exciting. This little barnacle piece. Big old sea bush too, I didn't even notice that. They're usually everywhere after storms. Pretty cool. So yeah, there's a barnacle piece. I'll leave it. I don't really like barnacles too much. Stuff is nasty though. Ugh. Anything else? Big pink barnacle there. You know how long it's been since I've found a Wentel trap? Look at this tiny thing. And yes, it's whole and it's a beauty shell. Wentel trap, look at that. Lots of DNA coral as well, and of course, look at this, an erosa. Almost gem erosa. How cool is that? Wow. That's fantastic condition. So in that little pile, we've got DNA coral, a gem erosa, and a tiny Wenzel trap. Freaking awesome. Hey guys, it is day two of this shelling episode, and as soon as I arrive today, we have a giant pile of micro shells here. I haven't seen a pile like this in quite a while. So this is gonna be exciting. I literally just arrived. I haven't seen this many micro shells in the longest, longest time. So let's see what we can find. Nice little uh, limpet shell there. Pretty nice. The smaller they get, the uh, more colorful they are, I find. Alrighty. Wow, it's been a long time. I actually didn't even bring a container for these. Ah, broken turbo. There's a little turbo. Would love to find some bean cowries. There's a little turbo. Haven't found a bean cowry in a long time. It's calm. See, there's even some down here. Huge piles. Stepping all over them. Let's take a seat here. And sift. Got a little crown cone there. Pretty old. Not much going on with it. These are absolutely everywhere at this beach. Mm. Lots and lots of tiny turbos. There's one there. Nice. 
down to the front in the uh, front of the rock pools here. I think I see a pretty big decent deer carry sitting there. Right in that corner. Just waiting for it to relax. Ah, there we go. Let's grab it out. Yeah, nice. It's definitely lost most of its uh, pattern on top, but hey, that's a nice little deer carry. Love finding deers. This tide is just dropping and rising, dropping and rising. It's so weird. Have to be pretty careful. Well, that's a nice little find. All right, I gotta get out of here. I, I hear something big behind me. Oh, uh, not too bad. Nice. Never believe what's just happened. I've come to the end of the beach here digging around these piles again, all the dead sea sponge piles, right? And look, look at this. Yesterday we found our second ever one of these bubble shells. So let's see how this one looks. Yes, that is so cool. Now this is my third one ever. This does have a tiny hole in the back and quite a bit of crack. So I'm gonna have to be really careful with it. But holy moly, that isn't the animal. That's just some uh, fluffy thing. But holy moly, I have never even found, what, two a year. And this is the third one, the second one in two days. I was just digging through here. Let's see if we can find more of these today. That is awesome. Nice. front of the beach here and I see a couple of cool things actually look at this if you guys don't know what this is this is a mouth plate from a uh, what are they called eagle ray massive massive stingray eagle ray things I'll put one up on the screen but this is basically like a tooth of a mouth uh, eagle ray pretty cool right I have never found one that big uh, I usually only find smaller ones about this big and they're usually just from stingrays. So that's really interesting and cool. Comment down below if you guys have found one and if you have, where from? But uh, yeah, they're pretty interesting and right next to it actually might be this bonnet shell here. Let's just wait for this wave to pass so we have a better view. Oh, that's a lot of water. Look at how deep it is, just out of nowhere. That's how unpredictable it's been here the last week and a half. G'day everybody, it's day three of trying to find some cool shells during this storm. We're just getting started here at some big micro shell piles here, as you can see. Micro shell piles are coming back. Pretty exciting, haven't seen them in a few months. But the first finds of the day is pretty exciting. Uh, where is it? I've lost it now. Yes, here we go. Here we have a bean cowrie. Let me just grab that up right there pretty nice look at this water's right here oh my goodness that was close that was very close to what i was about to show you guys look we have a uh i don't think it's a girl the triton it's a gaia triton that's it really nice little gaia triton there it's actually one of the biggest ones i've found i have my biggest one ever that i've found is like this big really rare size so that's pretty exciting Nice couple of finds here in the micro piles. So we've got a big pile right along the front here, and then right behind us, it's a drier pile. So see what we can find Pretty today. Pretty decent shell pile up here, you guys. Same within these little water holes here. I've been loving these water holes the last few days. Look, this is exactly why. There's just plenty of shells that get stuck in them. So good. Best thing seeing these piles as you're walking down to the beach. See there's some DNA coral. DNA coral gets stuck in this a lot. There's more. What else? I love them so much. Get stuck in them. Look at that massive pile. Water's subsiding, so let's check it out. Ah, oh, you're joking, that wasn't nice. I thought it was whole for sure. That wasn't nice at all. Well, we get a lot of bonnets here, so we don't need to keep the broken ones. Someone else will enjoy that more if they find it. Something pretty cool. And just as I was saying it as well, we have a bean cowrie there. 
Haven't found one in ages. Oh, there we go. Tiny bean, but I was originally looking at this uh, crop area. Focus, focus. They're so small sometimes. Cool. All right. This main pile here on camera for you guys. So we have a little piece of barnacle. These are everywhere. I uh, don't usually take them unless they're really good condition, so I'll leave this one. We do actually have uh, lots of this red coral here, like usual in these micro piles, but I've already filled a jar up, so I'm gonna leave it. Now let's see, here we go. Got a little blue cowrie. It's pretty cool. Tiny fella. I don't usually find them that small. What else do we have? I did see a turbo, yeah, here. Little turbo shell. There's a little black and red mitra. Some nice little finds there. Not many beans though. Usually there's beans and sand dollars scattered all through these piles. Same with sand dollars actually. Oh, I'm sitting on some rock. Um, but yeah, not many sand dollars or beans. Piece of sea urchin. Focus. Ah, it's broken anyway. Oh, clandestine. Yes, that's two. Heck yeah. The score. Love finding clandestines. Turn around here. What else is around here? Remember guys, comment down below if you spot anything that I don't. Anything cool. Oh, is that a little Mitra or something? No. Broken. Oh, there it is. Tiny little serif cone of some sort, I would imagine. Cool. I wanted to show you how well we have been teaching Petrie how to swim. Come on, Sonny. Go, go, go. Go, Sonny. Go to mum. Well, sort of swim. <laughs> We've been teaching him for about six months now how to swim. At the beach, he loves the beach. Go, Petey. Go, 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 go. He's so good at it now. There you go. Go, Petey, go. There you go. Now we can go through there. Maybe walk with him this time. See how he goes. Wait, wait for mum to go first. You don't want to trip her. Just wait, Sonny. Just wait, wait. You don't want to trip her. I know you're quick. Go, boy. Go, go, go. Go get mum. Call him. Go on. You can do it. There you go. Oh, now I don't want to trip. Wow, quick boy. 